Brother Salvador, how yes, are you? Not at all. I'm Sal very well, thank you. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Okay, I'm willing to answer all your questions. Okay. So, how are you today? I'm very well. I have a good day. Thank you very much. And how are you with God? Very well. Very well, very well. Good relationship. Okay, so Brother Salvador, how long since you accept Jesus in your life? Um, I was baptized in 82, so I must, uh, it must be in uh, about September 81 when um, by uh, the um, chant of um, the Catholic priest, you see, was my friend. Mm -hmm. And he gave me a Holy Bible, which is unusual in itself. Anyway, after that, I, I'd almost forgotten about the Bible, but all of a sudden, I had this urge into looking into it. And uh, as I was trying to seek to read, which I couldn't understand, which afterwards I found out that the natural man cannot perceive the things of God. Um, a tragedy happened at the same time as that, when I was trying to seek. Tragedy in my family. Okay. I lost my nephew. Okay. Drowned in a swimming pool. So is that the time when you make a decision to come to Christ or...? Well, well, it was part of it. I started seeking after that. I started seeking for the Lord. But uh, I didn't actually receive the Lord until a month later or thereabout when uh, my dad told me what are you waiting about? And uh, he was already a believer. And uh, his prayers had got me, almost, have helped me, you know, had helped me. And uh, anyway, um, so one Saturday morning, uh, I went uh, to seek a Christian family. Mm -hmm. uh, and as I was making my way to this um, people's family, Italians, uh, the sun was shining, the birds were singing, and it was as if, to me, as if the, um, the whole nature was celebrating as I was making my way towards, from Douglas Road, I used to live with my parents and my sister to Old, Old Bedford Road. Anyway, I walked all the way. When I got there, I told them what had happened. And uh, they uh, opened the scriptures to me, were kind enough, yeah. I didn't know them before, but uh, I, um, when I met them, um, they were very kind, and um, after that they uh, uh, led me in a spot in about testing the spirits to see if they are of God, mm. and apparently before that I had got involved with some spiritualists. Anyway. So what age were you at that time? I, I was um, 30, about 30. 13? 30. 30, oh 30, okay. Yeah, I was about 30 and uh, yeah, and uh, see there's another bit about my, when I came over I was 13. Yeah, when I came over so from Italy. So you were, oh you were living in Italy? Uh, I wasn't living in Italy until I was 13 years old. Okay. 
and I came over in 1964. Okay. So what was life like in Italy before you come to England? Very, um, but not as good as what, as in England. Okay. But uh, I do say when I did come to England of my own choice, uh, I lived with my brother uh, and my and his wife and uh, and uh, their daughter, my niece. And it, and uh, my sister-in-law must have been waiting, uh, must have been pregnant with my nephew. So he partly grew up with me. That's why when the accident happened or the tragedy happened, I was affected very much. So you was in a car? Or how did he die? He, he died in a swimming pool. Okay, okay, right. Uh, drowned. Okay. And, and I was affected in that much that, um, yeah, so much that. So, um, what age were you at that time? 30. It was 30. Wow, 30. and it affected you. Zero. Yeah, cheese, right? It affected you that much. Yeah, it affected me that much. I'm still taking my medication. Okay. Yeah, I am. Um, uh, before that, I had gone to Italy, did my national service, nothing at all. Um, because I had some mental illness before that, but you see, I proved it, that uh, I went to do my national service and things like that, nothing at all. Mm. But when this happened, it brought it all up, up again. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you've been following the Lord from your about 30? Yeah. Okay. And how do you love the Lord? Very much. Very much. With all my heart. Okay. So if you were to meet somebody now and then said to you, what is this God thing about? I don't believe in this God thing. What will you say to them? It's up to them. They got a choice mm. as far as I am. As far as I am, I am in my household. I am my own soul, so we believe in him. Mm. <laughs> As Joshua said. Uh, there is any encouraging, if there's somebody watching this video now, yeah. and they not yet accept Jesus, what advice would you give them? I would uh, advise that Jesus is living and well, is praying for them, and that, um, yes, and the Holy Spirit in the seas with the saints of God, when uh, when we are praying, the Holy Spirit helps us. Mm. Yeah, most definitely. Yes. Yeah. So tell me, tell me more about your spiritual walk with Christ, then. What yes, my spiritual. Your spiritual walk, walk with Christ. Yeah, my spiritual walk with Christ when uh, it started straight away. I was knocking on people's doors, and then. Uh, I didn't know about the uh, Jehovah's Witness that uh, they were doing the same. So mm. I was knocking to my neighbor's doors up the road and at the next door, uh, where was that? Um, where the bus, um, computer place is. I was um, knocking on people's doors there. And Douglas Road is opposite Kingsway, mm. and where we used to live, and uh, also people in my road, yeah. So you was evangelizing? Yeah. Okay. Were you leaf was you giving out leaflet or you just I was, I was, was giving out yeah, leaflet? Down the sun. I was, um, I had a friend called, uh, uh, yeah, there was quite two or three of us together. Okay. Yeah. Evangelizing and giving out leaflets, yeah. And you're, you're still, in your heart, you still want to reach out to people? I, I do. I do, yeah. Because I, uh, once every, uh, now, sometimes it's every week, sometimes it's every two weeks, once in every two weeks, People come from Bedford, from Open Air Mission. Okay. Uh, they've been going for over 100 years. 
uh, open air mission and uh, las pasta and the little okay and pasta michael and i um gave up a board meeting we have a board meeting mm -hmm. and as i said one joking away when uh these board making meetings are very serious things because the board meetings i'm on about is um they talk about the Bible mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and things in the Bible, in the New Testament and in the Old. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so as a child of God, we have to remember that God is a spirit and we have to walk in the spirit Amen. as a child of God because without the spirit of God, we are nothing. Amen. We are without the spirit of God. We are just flesh and rugs. I agree. So, I agree. Our duty is to encourage others who would not yet believe in Jesus Christ and tell them that Jesus is Lord and Savior. I agree. He's deliverer and waymaker. He's provider and he's problem solver. Yes. So. Uh, you know, I agree. I would, and, and I, because of my name, Salvatore means saviour, and that devil has been trying to put uh, a trap in my footsteps, mm -hmm. singing, or uh, trying to uh, make me claim that I am the saviour, mm -hmm. which I'm not, obviously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And... Uh, yeah, and uh, I've been plagued with uh, going into hospitals, being admitted into hospitals. Uh, my um, mind racing mm -hmm. and things like that. But okay. I believe the Lord has got a, a solution for that as well. Okay, my favorite scripture in the Bible is John three sixteen, sure. which it said. God, God so loved, loved the world, world that he gave, gave his only begotten son, son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have, have everlasting life. life. Amen. So what is your favorite scripture in the Bible? No, we got, that was 316. We go to 317. Okay. For God did not send his son, son into the, the world to condemn, to condemn the, world, the world, but that to, uh, the world that to through him that the world should be saved. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So it's, both of us is in John. Uh, well, uh, I just uh, quote all those um, verses uh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. that area. Yeah. Yeah. I just, uh, for some reason, I just, yeah. there's not a scripture, that, there's not a scripture sure. in the Bible that I love, King. but I just fell in love That's with right. John 3.16. That's right. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, Billy Graham, um, apparently, uh, I can't remember what he did, but he, he was um, preaching that yeah. um, scripture, yeah. uh, that verse. And then yeah. also, I love Isaiah 61. I, yeah, the Spirit of the Lord. Yeah, I love me. Isaiah 61. That's right. Yeah. And it's repeated again in uh, uh, Luke 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, so. yeah so. It was the fulfillment. Yes. And now it gets fulfilled in you and me. Amen. Amen, Amen man. Yeah. yeah. And others also have a will. Yes. And others yeah. also have a will. Yeah, man. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me yeah. to preach the good news yeah. and to the yeah. poor. So yes, so um, open prison doors. Yes, and yes. set the captive free. free. Yeah, man. Mm. I was in prison. Yeah, me too. I was in prison. So me too. Only and God. Uh, only a few, uh, maybe six months ago, we still slave to sing. Yep. Yep. Yeah, maybe six months ago, oh, 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 I, I even more or less. Because um, I had a bad um, addiction, mm -hmm. yes, and I'm not ashamed of it, uh, which I, I heard only people like uh, um, 
um, who was it now? Derek Prince preached about uh, against it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't remember if it's anybody else, mm -hmm. but he did preach against it. And I believed it and mm -hmm. uh, cut it off completely. And I uh, struggled before I actually gave it up because um, the enemy would come mm -hmm. at, a, at a time when I was not prepared and uh, I would fall and would fall and would fall again. Yeah. But um, at the end I said, that's enough. And um, I um, had to submit, that's the first thing, mm -hmm. submit yourself to God yes. and then resist the devil. You see, a lot of us, we in prison and we don't know True. that we are in prison. True. Because True. when Someone was saying for that. the unbeliever, when we talk about prison, they're thinking about prison, that's in right. general prison. That's right. That's but we right. talk about spiritual warfare. Yeah, that's right. Which things that we caught up in could be drugs, prostitution, gambling, that's right. That's right. stealing, my, fornication. My, These things right. are all prison that yeah. we caught up in. It was covered up. Mine was covered up as if it was not seen. But it was seen. It was seen. It was seen. I admit it. And uh, I can say what it was as well. <laughs> Masturbation. Right. And so... I, it, yeah, I give it up. So the I'm only way the only way you can give it up, God at the first intervene in your life. That's right, indeed. And when God intervene in your life, there's a thing called I'm light. Free. There's a thing called light yeah. and darkness. So the situation that you was in, you was in darkness. That's right, it's true. But God shine his light in you, which is, which is the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Spirit then can you Amen. and show you the light That's right. that cause you to step away from darkness That's which right. is the situation the prison that you yeah. was in yeah. and bring you over into the light of That's Jesus right. so now you can see the light mm. you step out in the light it said the things I used to do I do them no more Amen. I am a new creature Amen. born in Jesus Amen. Christ Amen. so you step away from sin into grace. That's right. That's right. I am a new creation. Creature. No more in condemnation. Amen. Here in the grace of God I stand. My heart is overflowing. My love keeps on growing. Here in the grace of God I stand. And I will praise you, Lord. And I will praise you, Lord. I will sing of all that you have done. As, um, I, uh, whatever, but anyway, I was singing that hymn or song or chorus, and I was still a slave of sin. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. It's nice to see when somebody have that burning passion for Jesus and knowing that why. I feel this burden for Jesus is because of where he take me from, That's the right. situation that I was in, yeah. and Jesus have delivered me from this bandage, from this prison, and now I realize that I am free. Amen. So because I realize that I'm free, I can celebrate, I can rejoice in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So here is my brother Salvador Amen. rejoicing Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much to my share pleasure. My pleasure. your testimony my with me. My oh God, I've delivered you from your prison. Thank you. And now Thank I you pray Lord. that every person who watch this video, I if you are delivered. in prison yeah. right now and you don't realize that you are in prison, mm -hmm. this will tell you that yes, you are in prison. You are in prison. And yeah. while you are in prison, you are in darkness. That's and right. that's why you are doing the things that you are doing. That's right. Because you don't realize mm. that it is wrong. That's because right. the devil has blinded your eyes. Blinded your eyes. So no, for a long time. We are praying now yes. that God 
will release you yes, sure. from your prison into the light of Jesus. So, you want to pray for somebody? Yes, I pray that uh, everyone who is watching this video will be delivered from all iniquity, including masturbation, as I, I quoted, my own sin, and uh, be a new creation truly in Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Great and wonderful things he have done Amen. for me, Amen. my brother. And God want to do the same thing for you, my viewers Amen. who are watching. So Amen. if you're watching this video and you've been touched, yes. leave a comment, yes. subscribe to the channel, Amen. hit the notification bell, and you don't miss any video that goes up. Don't Amen. forget to subscribe to the channel. And as I said, there is other videos in the channel that yes, have sure my contact number. If you want to WhatsApp me, you can WhatsApp me if you want to pray with you. We can pray with you over the phone. Yes. If you live in Luton and you want to link up, you can link up with us. Also, every first Saturday of the month, Lucy Pentecostal Church, we have a men's Amazing. outreach team where we meet up with men's and we have discussion. Yes. So come and join us. Be a part of the family. And God bless you. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace and love. Amen.